right guys welcome back to the show like i said it's a music fest on silverbird today and we have the lovely beautiful gorgeous sexy everything in between sally <laughs> <laughs> hi sally good to have you on the hi, show thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here too nice so there's a lot to you and just one thing was the preview of icon that gained traction on tiktok yeah. but even before we come to even your tiktok journey you even recently joined sony music's and black butter records and that's like a really big deal so yeah really mm. you know mm. things are looking good yeah. but before we even get to the future let's take a peek to the past, past. what was it like how did you even get to this stage, you know, before mm. even the TikTok fame came up or even today Ed not posting mm. your, your video or anything? Okay, before my viral video in 2021, mm -hmm. I was just because it's such a cool. Okay. Yeah. And um, I'm a fashion designer. Oh. So that's what I used to do while helping my mom too and also schooling. Okay. So before the whole, you know, viral video music and stuff, because I wasn't really interested in the whole music career stuff here. So before then, I was just a girl, living. <laughs> we're living. We're yes, just I'm surviving. We're just surviving <laughs> by the grace of God. So what yeah. happened? How did that surviving become, you know, what we are seeing now? What was the turning point for you? Um, I think the turning point was the minute Atunde posted wow. my video. It was so overwhelming. Like, people reached out. You know, I got more audience. People actually made me believe in my voice mm. because then i was just thinking for the fun of it and whatever and i was really battling with this self-doubt then but when you know when i discovered that plenty of people are really impressed by my voice i'm like maybe this my voice is it though mm. let me just you know so i'm curious were you just posting videos on tiktok just singing covers what were you doing on tiktok um on tiktok yeah i was doing covers okay. freestyles you know yeah native songs and the rest native songs yeah okay so it was icon that just blew up and gained almost um 2.8 creations in a day and continued to grow mm -hmm. at that point when tunde posted that track what was the next thing how did you feel i felt really happy i don't know there's this whether tunde likes it or not they have a connection mm. <laughs> yeah there's this thing that always happens whenever he posts a content of mine i just get really happy because you know it's more audience for me and you know getting new people to listen to your song i mean that's the goal and then, so when he posted my video i gave him followers you know and stuff but i still kept pushing on tiktok i posted every day mm. yeah i i am never going to get tired of icon mm. Mm. interesting we'll still come to you but um if i mix it up again come to dj wise <laughs> Your relationship with, because you told me your relationship with Sally. How did you even meet Sally? Okay, um, Sally, Sally is my sister from baby from sister. From yeah, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I said baby <laughs> sister. <laughs> okay. So how would you even Actually, I never knew we were sisters when oh. she was discovered. Okay. Yeah, I never knew yeah. until um, she reached out to me and she was like, my brother said, you're my sister. This, that. I'm like, your brother? From where? Who is your brother? I know. So she explained and I was like, wow, I never knew. Like, even me, I don't even know my cousins. Sorry. I don't even know anyone. Yeah, I don't, don't know them. Yeah. You understand? So, so when she came, I was like, really? Mm. My cousin, if he passed here, I don't know anybody. Mm. Yeah, so that was it. And I was so excited knowing that she's actually my baby sister. Okay. Yeah. So now in, in helping her to develop the music part because she's gaining traction exactly. and she's, you know, signed to Sony Music, a bit of the, you know, so what's the whole relationship in terms of evolving and building her music? How has it been like working with her? Um, I won't lie. It, it has not been easy because, oh. uh, shut up. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's sister. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it hasn't been easy, um, but um, I, I like where we are right now. Mm. We've been grinding and um, we're actually seeing the whole success. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, mm. let me say, I discovered her when she was not signed and mm. helped mm. through the whole process and everything and mm. also releasing a single and everything because they were never there. Okay. when she was discovered and yeah wow. so and I, I love this camaraderie but i know you're also working on ojuju together exactly so <laughs> you went to Oka, like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so let's talk about ojuju what what's the concept behind ojuju so ojuju um we wanted to we've been wanting to release a song together yeah mm. I, as a matter of fact, people actually thought I signed her. Let me just oh. clear it now. 
I did not say at least my baby sister. Oh, wow. So yeah. So um, we'll be wanting to release a song together and also uh, another way of promoting her and also mm. another way of bringing myself in the music industry okay. also. So yeah. So finally we picked a song because she has a couple of beautiful songs out there. Mm. Not out there anyways, inside our room. Mm, inside yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So well, we finally picked one and Ojuju happened to be that one and because of the whole beat and everything, it has to do with my drum as, mm. a, as a drummer girl. And then it has to do with her belief for love. I don't know. Can you explain? That. <laughs> Being for anti love. No, I just I just have this thing with uh, then how I was feeling at the moment. I was really, well, I'm really against you know love. Yeah, hey. the whole attachments and everything that comes with it. Mm. So I think that's what inspired the song Ojiju. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay but now that um, let's talk about your music life now. Fast forward to you being discovered and your song doing well, let the streets. How has it been like trying to just do music and push yourself right now at this phase and state? Because it's a very competitive industry. Yeah, it is. I'm not. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like it's a special kind of punishment. Wow. <laughs> it's special. It's wow. a special punishment, and I like it. Like I like it. I feel like it keeps me going. When I'm tired, I still have to record, I still have to practice, I mm. still have to collaborate. Like, I still have to do what I, because I don't have a choice at this point. It's mm. music or nothing. Okay. So, it's been overwhelming, stressful, you know, gets tough sometimes. But when I just know, like, I can just, like, sometimes I just have to picture the future, like, at the end of the day, people will listen to my song mm. and they would love me even more for it. Like, I inspire people. I get DMs almost wow. every day. People telling me, I love your songs. Your song did this to me. Your song did that to me. That's all I need. It keeps me going. I love the passion. How would you describe your style of music or your genre of music? Um, I don't like to, you know, I feel like genre is kind of a limitation for me because I would love to explore every part and every kind of mm. music. Mm. So for now, no genre. Okay, so what we're saying is that we're going to be a bust of sunshine, yeah, unveiling you know, each step and yeah. okay, every step of the way. Okay, so let me ask you, apart from people, Ujuju, what's in the works with Sally and generally your projects? Just generally, what are the things you're uh, working on? Because, you know. With Sally? With Sally and yourself. 2024 okay. is around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Ap apart from Ujuju, um, actually, Ujuju's video is coming soon. Okay, say apart from Ujuju. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So apart from Ojuju, yeah, we are planning on um, a whole lot, actually. Me, personally, um, hosting my second concert called oh. Commissioner's Festival. Yeah, yes. and also, I just came back from my Europe tour a few days ago. Hmm. I'm also planning for my U US tour next ah, year. The money's and entry! <laughs> and all of that. Okay. So, um, I think it's just remaining my US tour. I'm ah, actually ah. tour every yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. So, yeah, next year, my festivals... Because I actually want to have up to like um, three to four festivals in a year, different, different uh, countries, in countries the world. and states, yeah, nice. and all of that. So, yeah, and when it comes to Sally, Sally is going to be the star, like that star, like everyone. <laughs> wow, I love that. I love that belief. That is so hard. Sally, just any last words for those who, um, who are giving up, who want to do what you're doing? Because I'm sure you never thought you would be able to do this. Yeah. So just last words for them to just encourage or just last words generally. Just keep, I don't know, I feel like, you know, I even need those words myself. For mm. <coughs> wondering why they ask you this last <laughs> yeah, word. I'm telling you. Yeah, just so. Yeah. Okay, if you're doing music out there, the only thing I can tell you is just keep doing it. Don't do it for nothing else. Just do it like, mm. you know, it's the reason why you're happy or it's the reason why you're living. Because I feel like settling for happiness in music that's the peace that comes oh, wow. yeah that like that's what gives me peace because when i you know once i deviate from that i feel like i'll, I'll get distracted in the future nice. so i just want to pin my happiness on it so when i'm doing it no matter the stress no matter whatever i'm happy and I'm wow. still pushing. So. Man, do you write your songs? Yeah, I do. No wonder. <laughs> it, it comes from, it flows from deep within. But it was yeah. so nice uh, to have the amazing Sally. And I'm sure Thank there's you. so many more things you'll be doing, upcoming projects and works. Thank yes. you so much for coming through on the show. Thank and you. Commissioner DJ YSA. Thank you so much Thank uh, you. Uh, for coming on Silverbird today. It's definitely going to be a packed one for you because there's so many shows coming on concerts. And yeah. Sally also will be booked, back, booked. 
booked and busy. Definitely. Booked and busy. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you so much. And yeah. um, we'll take a break. We also have another talented female artist coming through on the show. Like I said, it is Music Wednesday. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back after Hi. the break.